Hi, this is Mark Dubow. Today we're going to talk about how to use Lucid Press to create professional looking brochures or posters. Um, first thing you want to do is log into your Google Drive. And I've already added it, but I'll show you the quick way to add uh, this app so that it works with your Google Drive. It's not as intuitive as I think it should be, so um, tutorial is pretty much uh, necessary to know what to do, I guess. So in your Drive, you'll click under New under more and connect more apps and then you'll search for lucid press as you can see i've already added lucid press um, as well lucid press only has a certain amount of licenses or allowed per domain so you may also have to uh, request permission to get more i actually got them for free since i'm an educational account so if your school doesn't have enough and you want more i suspect that after a certain limit they may want to charge you a little something definitely worth the money it's fantastic uh, it's a great alternative to um, to uh, Microsoft's uh, version of uh, their tool uh, the name escapes me publisher so publisher used to be used a lot in our schools but now that we've gone to Chromebooks we need an alternative that works just as well um, you can do brochures in Google Docs but they don't look as professional as they would in lucid press so lucid press is added and uh, now I'm going to go to Lucid Press and I'm going to show you what you need to change right away so that it works properly with Google Docs. It actually took me a little while to figure out why it wasn't syncing properly with my Google Docs. It's because you have to actually go to the settings under account and activate it. So you have to physically go and click on this. So often you would assume if you add an app from Google Drive to uh, work with uh, another app that it would work automatically. But this one here, you have to come here, click automatically sync a new. Uh, new documents to Google Drive and you know how often do I want to do this I'm going to do it once a week and I'll save these changes so now we're going to go and create um, I started working on a brochure and I, as you can see there's a lot of power here you can add a page a blank a page or a front but it's only two pages and as you can see I've already added this because this is a brochure Lucid Press can do way more than brochures. It can build quite a few uh, different type of um, projects. So if we go here, let's go back to Documents and uh, create a new document. So you'll see some of the templates that you have here. And that, a report, annual report, brochures, and there's several models that you can use. Um, business cards, so if you're doing a business class and you want them to work on their art and you're teaching them composition. CD pamphlets, event invitations. There are just so many things that uh, normally I would use InDesign, but InDesign is so much more complex. You can even create booklets, magazines, um, newsletters, uh, larger size posters, and it, all the settings are there for you so you don't have to be too knowledgeable uh, with uh, sort of the technical side of things. So this is great for a regular classroom. Um, once you've saved this document, and that's another thing that at first you might throw you off if you're working on your project, um, before it shows up in Google Drive, you have to click Save. It doesn't sync automatically. Once you click Save, we're going to go to Google Drive, and what you'll see is that this created a folder. Okay, so you see Lucid Press. I'll click on it in here, and there it is. So you see I put a wall, picture of the Great Wall of China, and there it is. Same one. So it syncs your Google Drive. Uh, another neat feature is you can collaborate uh, and share this with another group so that they can also work on your pamphlet, which is something you can definitely not do in Microsoft Publisher or even in InDesign, which is uh, much more complex. Uh, but if you're working with students, this is a really fantastic tool. I uh, highly encourage you to try it out. All right, this is Mark Dubow. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you very much.